I don't and think Terry's I've like had that. a proper conversation with you once. So you, you don't have an ego match. So you don't think what well, how how am I being egotistical or or anything in this conversation? I'm just letting you Even, know I want our gang to be more respected and push us in a better way. And we can. We can do that. It's just if you don't show respect, how do you think you'll 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 gain it? I I I'm not I Listen, this whole respect word, like you don't know I, what it is. You yeah, and to be honest, I, I, I don't I don't think I do. Because I hear it so much every single day. And at this point, it's just became, like, I don't even know, a blur. Okay, I'm going to find a teacher for you. Uh, you're wasting and your time with a, with a teacher. I, I don't do lessons. I, I dropped okay, out of school for a reason. How do you learn what respect is? Qatar, uh, listen. Let me, let me uh, Google it for you. One second. You're just lecturing me at this point. Like I said, I don't want to go back and forth if that's you just okay with you. Me. You don't know what respect is, man. And you telling me a definition isn't going to change anything. No, because it's explaining to you what respect is. No, it's just condescending, to be honest. How? Just you, you, you're talking down to me like I'm a child. And start acting like a grown-up. Just start because I'm like not adult, doing what you want me to do. start the root of your problems and stop being bitch-made and walking away from problems. Yeah, okay, wow, you know you've turned exist. the situation on me. Like... If, if that's what uh, you want to do... Victim mat. Victim mat. No, but... Mat. I, I don't want to be a victim. Oh, listen. Stop. I, like, I don't want to act this way because I don't want to look like a victim. That's all you used to say back in the day. Okay, and that's I stopped you, saying I victim, didn't like I? That. But, like, do, do you want me to call, start calling people victims? Like, uh, what no, are we trying to do with this conversation? Is, that's, Matt, that's... Matt, why are you raising your voice? Because you're raising your voice at me. And you're coming at me no, directly. Okay. Like, you're being okay. disrespectful. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. You used to have the mind meant, I you used to used to be like, I don't want to look like a victim. I don't want to look like a victim. The thing is, you preach respect every single day, mm -hmm. Patar, and then you talk to me like this. Because you don't show it back to me, Matt. When when do I talk this to you like this? You have me. I ever called you a victim? Have I ever said you're bitch no. made? Bro, I don't be doing none of that. But that's the thing, is so, you're like you're treating me like a child. I'm not. And the issue is look, look, if you want to be treated like a man, act like one. Listen, and that's what I'm trying to get to you. It's like Learn these values of respect. Learn, learn, <laughs> learn to be a man. The whole gang treats you like a child, because that's what they view you as, Matt. And this isn't me trying to talk down to you. It's just giving you a reality check. It's not just this situation. It's so many other things. You know how many times Sparky makes fun of you because you walk around with your pants? How many times he thinks you're a joke? Okay, man, and, you, and he does exactly the same as you when you're running around in an umpa lumper outfit. Like it goes two ways, Batar. Like, it, it, there's, there's a bigger picture to everything. Okay, but the thing about the Oompa Loompa thing is no one knows that's me other than my gang. And there's a bigger picture to that Oompa Loompa shit. Okay, you're telling me no one knows it's you? No. Other okay. than the gang. Okay. And uh, no one outside of the gang knows those Oompa Loompas are us. Okay. Uh, sure. Why, why, see, you, you speak about being condescending, being snarky. I just disagree. Okay, then explain. Bro, it, it, like, it's blatant. How? You have a very distinct accent. Do, do the Oompa Loompa speak? Yeah, but the, there's a pitch of your voice, Pitar. Like, people could tell... If you, if you went as an Oompa Loompa, yeah, and started making your noise, and I went up to someone and said, who's that Oompa Loompa? I guarantee they would tell you rapid. Anyone that's ever met you. You have a very mm. distinct voice. Mm. Listen, we, we, we don't need to go back and forth. Like I said, we're on the same side. No, see, Matt, it's you just... view this as an argument. It's a constructive conversation. Mm. It's not going anywhere. How... I don't get what uh, you're trying no, to get. That's the thing is you're not allowing it to go anywhere. You're not listening. You never listen. Listen for one moment. But this... You want to be treated like a man? Step up and act like one. The thing is, though, you say, I'm not listening. I I've told you. It it unless you're going to tell me as a second in command, I'm not going to do it. Yeah? Please, can you listen? Yeah, I'm listening. Okay. Uh, the conversation from my point of view is over then. Okay. So the conversation's over. Let, let me is talk that to okay? you as a second in command now. <laughs> okay. How can I, okay, what can I do for you? Me. No, talk to me, because you said it's over as as me and you, 
but as second in command, I'd like to I'd like to hear you continue the conversation. I have nothing to say. What or what do you want to say to me? Do you want me to explain to you what the respect is? If you would like to. Okay, I'm gonna read you the definition of respect. <laughs> and this is one thing I want you to start learning <laughs> as the second in command of the Mandem, okay? This is where we literally just listen. <laughs> the definition of respect. You ready? More than ready. <laughs> I, I can't hear you, by the way. If you're speaking, sorry. Sorry. I'm, uh, I'm just looking for... Look it on my phone for you. <laughs> what is respect? To grasp... Big concept. I mean, it is a big... It's a big concept to grasp. Right, right Max? You hear about respect all the time for showing respect to others. Yo, done. Thank Respect you, brother. I appreciate you, man. It's caring about the world and caring about people around you. I can't even think, bro. Respect has two parts. Having respect for someone because their actions impact others. Showing respect, changing your actions to be sure you don't uh, you don't have a negative impact based on your actions. You want another? I'll give you another example to put on your notepad. <laughs> Respect is a fundamental and complex concept that involves showing consideration, esteem for others, their rights, their beliefs, their boundaries, and their dignity. That's something I want you to start learning Bro. <laughs> as the second in command. So that we don't get walked over. So we, we show mutual respect to everyone. And, you know, we do get walked over. And if so, if that's something we want to start doing as a gang, to stop getting walked over, we'll 1000% do that. Matt, you know, we were, we were going to smoke the, the stupid goons, especially for all their quarter shit. But they came to me and uh, like, they were like, yeah, you know, we're not going to do anything about it. We know our place, you know? That's why nothing more came of it. Or they'd be smoked right now, over and over and over and over again, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay, go on with your day. Okay, are we good, Patal? Oh yeah, we're good, we're good. It's just... <laughs> I want you to grow up, Matt. That's my guy. Come here. That's my guy. <laughs> I want you to grow up. That's my guy. Because this is the last conversation I'm going to have with you about respect. And things, if things don't change, Matt, I'm going to make them change. At the end of the day, like, when my head's at, we go over here so this cop doesn't hear us. Like, 100%, I should always be respecting the gang a million percent. I, I should be able to uh, choose when I did with I can in quotes disrespect other gangs if I feel like I'm being disrespected. The way the energy Terry called me on was disrespectful and I matched mm. that energy. But now I'm in a position where I'm being told I should apologize first. No, Matt, that's the thing is you're saying I have to go apologize. I'm just saying talk about it and see what's up between you two so you communicate. Yeah. You're, you're acting the same way Dean's acting. You don't have to go apologize to him. You don't have to tell him, hey, this, 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 this. I, I don't want to be compared to Dean. Just make sure Dean. things don't brew. Please. Because people aren't communicating. Yeah, I, I, I honestly don't think it will brew. I think time will heal with this one. I've, I've known Terry for a long time and our friendship goes a lot further than a tweet. I just want to let him calm down and I will talk to him when I run into him or if he reaches out. But in a sense, hasn't he reached out with his gang? If he wants to reach out, he can reach out to me. Reaching out through people is literally... 
it's him saying he doesn't want to reach out and we try to get Matt to reach out. That's him do, doing the, playing the exact same cards as I'm playing. But you you see the you see the way you're thinking right now, right? That's how a child would think. But it's like okay. I want to get the W over this person because it looks this way. It appears that way. A real man. It makes our gang look weak. Isn't it's, it's not a real a real man. A real this. You're a child. Like it's. It's, I don't want our gang to look weak, and this is how I'm choosing to deal with it, unless you tell me otherwise. It's... It's that simple. And I, I'd appreciate you to understand, like... But the gang is weak, isn't it? Yeah, it is weak. We we, we don't recruit shooters. It's, it's that simple. I don't like, even think it's about recruiting shooters. 110%. If you look at every gang that's actually respected in the city, they have shooters. It's, it's that simple. Hydra can all shoot. You know what? Seaside you know can all shoot. Time, GG can all shoot. It is, it's Ballers can shoot. You know, and they're you all know respected. Before your time? Before your time? Before it wasn't your like that. Even them? Huh? It wasn't like that. It didn't used no. to be like that. No. Before your time, Mendem was respected because how much of an asset they were to everyone. How, how important they were. How connected they were. That's why we were respected and, you know, a lot of that came from me, Tommy, and Dean, you know? Ma mass majority of our respect came from Tommy. the things me, and Tommy, he's and not Dean around. have done for the... And neither is Dean. Like you say, most of our respect from came from you, Tommy, and Dean, and Tommy and Dean aren't around, so... Mm -hmm. And that may be a big part of things. So why don't we build that respect for other members, too? A hundred percent. Me, Tommy, and Dean. But Tommy won't get walked over. Dean doesn't get walked over. If someone comes at Dean with that energy, he's a match that energy. And I think mm -hmm. that's why he got kicked out of the gang because he struggled to differentiate that with you. He very he may very much felt like if you come to him with that energy, he's a match that energy. And I think sometimes he forgot that you're second in command. You know why Dean got kicked out? Because I told him, as second in command, talking to an MDMA member, this is what I want you to do. And if you can't do that, leave your vest in the car and get out. Exactly my point. He, mm -hmm. he, he forgot that you were second in command and felt like he could match your energy. And at the end of the day, if you, if, if you were like given energy, we can't always match that, you know? Like, we need to mm -hmm. know our place, but... Yeah. Dean... Dean literally went through his time matching everyone's energy. And mm -hmm. of course he overstepped with you, but anyone else he doesn't need to he doesn't need to stop himself, you know? Mm hmm So when it when it came to um who are we gonna go to war with? When we went to war with goons, um not that. There was a there was another group we were gonna go to war with after the goons. Who was it? Uh I don't even know. Goons. There's another group we're gonna go to war with. I'm not sure, um, to be honest. They disrespected us, and I told you guys, if 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 they do anything about it, just, just we'll, we'll just steamroll them, and we'll go smoke we'll smoke them. I don't remember. I know there was a group though. Vagos. Um. Oh yeah, Vagos. Were we disrespected when we went and? Were you there when we shot all the Vagos in their own barrio? I don't think so, no. You know we went to the... Because of um, Frankie. We went to the barrio and we smoked like six, seven Vagos in their own barrio. What did Frankie do again? Apologizing. Huh? What did Frankie do again? Frankie was fighting in the, in the goon war. That's it. We do back ourselves. It's just we know our place sometimes too, and we know what to what to escalate and what not to escalate. You know? Yeah, I I think I think like um the way you're perceiving and I'm perceiving is different. You know, I'm I'm not mm. saying this is an escalation. I'm just saying this is not a de-escalation. But you're saying me not de-escalating is an escalation. Yeah, because Matt, put your place in 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 Terry's place, right? This guy you call your friend. 
got rude to you. Your whole gang is upset of the things you said because we we thought you know the seaside and uh, men them relationship was getting better, no? Uh, so from now my you have point to explain of view, to your I, whole... yeah. Huh? From my point of view, I, I haven't seen much of it, but that's the earlier thing, really, isn't it? It's between Denzel. Mm. I mean, don't you chill with them? I thought Terry, Peter, those boys were your friends, no? Peter's, Peter's in BBMC now. Peter's always been BBMC. Yeah, my bad. Um, Terry. The, Ter Terry's my friend beyond Seaside. I, it's, it, my friendship with Terry is, is nothing to do with Seaside. Okay, how about um, Jobs used to do a Seaside and Races used to do a Seaside? I race with Yolkai. Isn't that Seaside? Mm, there's crossovers. Okay, I swear you used to go do jobs with Seaside, no? Well, once in a blue moon. I don't have the best relationship with them. At the end of the day, if they put a finger on any of us, I'm gonna go shoot them. You know, it's... And 100%, and that's the, that's the case for us too. We're gonna go shoot them too. But... In, 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 in the grand scheme of things, I'm not saying go apologize to him. I'm just saying communication is a good, good, good thing to work on. Regardless if you're just, you know. Do you want the, uh, to be honest, Pata, and I, I'll tell you exactly how I feel, yeah. which is the sad reality, and I don't yeah, think we should me. do it for a minute. Mm -hmm. Every gang that's respected in, in this city mm -hmm. is because they can shoot at, at this point. It didn't used to be like that, but the point we're at today, everyone's got money. Like, money's not a crazy thing. Everyone can afford a war out or two. It, is, mm -hmm. it, it comes down to if you can shoot or not. N name the most respected gangs in the city. Every single gang can shoot. And I'm not saying we should recruit, recruit shooters because that's the most cringe thing I've heard in my life. But mm. that is the reality of it. And you know, as, you know as what however... Mother? What? Sorry. We, we, we took a leave of absence for so long. And we thought we still had the same presence in the city. We say we. I didn't go anywhere. In that, in that time when we, we disappeared... I went out and met as many gangs as I could and spent no, and built relationships with as many gangs as I could. 1000%. But by we, I mean like the gang isn't here, you know? It wasn't here. As a solo entity, you can't really do much, you know? For for the whole you can't carry the whole gang on your back. You know? So that's where we lost a lot of our presence too. But I feel like if that never happened, I think we would have had the same respect to this day, you know? Mm. Yeah, I, I just think it's different times. It's very different times. Yeah. And the thing is, there's, there's being respected and being feared. Mm. Yeah, I feel like they go hand in hand, though. Yeah, they, I, they feel, can. I feel like we do have a certain amount of. of fear, I feel like and we you do can be have. Respected out of pure respect, you know. Yeah. And Mandem used to be purely respected out of pure respect. Yeah. But Mandem's always been walked over, to my knowledge, no. Hmm. Not always. Recently, yes. 